going on everybody welcome to another guide for dwarf fortress this is costa games um we are going to be talking about were beasts in this video because i have a huge issue in my fort right now and i i went and did some research so i'm going to go give you guys all the information that i just gathered and uh kind of my experience of what's been going on so as you guys can see this is my corpse pile um that is outside my fort and we have these werebeasts, these are were hyenas, and then these are also werebeasts, all these dwarves, and there's a human somewhere in here that is a um also a werebeast. So uh what happened basically was I had a werebeast uh kind of pop up here, a were hyena, a child, turned into a were hyena, injured a couple people, and I thought the injuries were just injuries. I was like, okay, we're good. No, so think of were beasts like vampires so immediately the two people came down and went to the hospital they got healed up they went back to normal life during the next full moon they turned into were hyenas injured i think i had 14 so they injured 14 people before i could kill them because one spawned in my tavern and one spawned down here and my military was training in their barracks at the point so my military took a second to get there and the one in the tavern and then down here just absolutely mutilated a bunch of people. So then I had 14 dwarves turn into werebeasts on the next full moon. And they spawned in my temple, my tavern, down here. Uh, one was in my mines, a couple were up top. They mutilated a lot of people. They killed a lot of people, but they also injured a lot. I mean, this is my hospital and these beds are like all full. Uh, so yeah. And they, like, some of my military people were just injured, too. So, um, when a werebeast attacks, if you see that they injured one, two people, and they're in your hospital, expel those people from your fort. If you can't expel them, get them killed. Because they are going to turn into a werebeast, and if they injure anybody else, they become werebeasts. This fort is ruined. Um, because in the next full moon, I'm going to have like 30, 40 werebees show up. It's going to be end game for me. So I figured I'd go ahead and make this video while I can. Um, so yeah, if anybody gets bit or scratched, you have to expel them, kill them, uh, lock them in a room. And, um, they are door destroyers or construction destroyers. You can't lock them in a room and put a door there. You can lock them in a room and put a drawbridge. You could lock them in a room and seal it with a wall, but a door they will break out of. Um, so you have to watch out for that. Yeah, so as you guys can see, this is this is my temple. And uh, yeah, it was a, a bloodbath. My tavern was a bloodbath. This wasn't as bad as my second attack. My second attack, there, this whole room was blood. And yeah, as you guys see, there's tons of blood up here also. And you could just see how many beasts that we had running around just causing havoc. So, yeah, it's game. Um, so, where beasts change on the full moon, uh, necromancers can bring back. So, if a necromancer walked past here, they could revive all of these. And even though they're dead, the necromancer bring them back to life and they can still change into a were beast. And I, th I think I was reading that when they change back, they'll be a corpse again. But then when the full moon comes, they'll come back to life as an undead werebeast. So it's a really difficult thing to deal with. My, what I would do in a perfect situation now that I know is immediately expel or kill anybody that was um, injured in the fight against the werebeast. And then I would take all of these corpses. I would create an Atom Smasher garage dump and immediately throw all of them into an Atom Smasher and drop that drawbridge on them and destroy them. That way there's no corpse. There's no chance of a Necromancer coming in and getting them. So yeah, that, that is what I do in a perfect scenario. But this fort is lost. We have lost this fort 100%. There's no way anybody's surviving this next full moon. So we are going to go ahead and, you know, we're just going to deal with it. Actually, I think I'll hit play and I'll let you guys see what happens in the full moon. So we'll be right back. All right. The games have begun. Um, what is that? Three, six, nine, twelve. That is 13 more wear hyenas. Let's see if we. Wow. 
Wow. That's my hospital, and it is a mess. We dropped the 20... More people are dying. Are we good now? Did we kill all of them? Tavern's a mess. Let's see if we even killed all of them. Yeah, it looks like we did. Um, but... The fact that we killed that many and we have one, two, three... Four... I mean, there's some... Yeah, there's more than that injured. So we're, we're looking at probably half of our population is injured, if not more, right now. So, uh, yeah, that's game. That's that's what happens. Uh, it's a mess. We uh, are not going to live through another one. We, we have lost this fort absolutely and completely. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this helps you guys out a bit. Um, and, yeah. The, so where hyenas can be reptiles, they can, or not where hyenas, but where beasts can be reptiles and mammoths. Uh, I think you, there can also be like a where mammoth and where something else. But obviously you have your, ooh, eyeball. Um, you have your where wolves also, uh, your more classic looks. From what I was reading, <clears throat> where beasts are, they take half damage from any type of metal weapon. Uh, except for one type of metal and that depends on what kind of beast it is I believe so um, like and I don't think werewolves are on it in particular to like silver like how they are in like real lore um, I think they kind of just choose what they are when you start the game so maybe you get lucky and it's iron or steel that they are weak to so they take half damage to every other type of metal weapon and then they take 10 times as much damage from whatever specific metal. And from what I was reading, there's no way to tell um, when you start a game what that wear beast is weak to. So you just gotta kind of got to hope. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you guys seeing my fort absolutely demolished from the inside out. And we are going to go start another one. And we're going to be producing more guides, more tutorials more information on this game. I know it's very difficult to learn. I've been playing it for like three weeks um, and I've clocked in maybe two, 300 hours easy. Uh, so um, I have really, really been enjoying this game and losing is fun. That is the motto of a game for a reason. Like I've had a blast learning about this. I've never had it happen. My last fort, I got attacked by like a minotaur. Um, I had elves ambush me like 70 different elves and it was a war um, for my gate. And this game is a blast to play, and I can't wait to keep put, putting out more content for it. Um, hope you guys subscribe, like the video. It really helps out a bunch. I'm a very, very small channel right now, and uh, there is a playthrough for one of my Dwarf Fortress like campaigns. Uh, it's called The Shattered Kin. There's a playlist on my channel if you want to go watch that. Uh, it's more long-form content, like 45-minute videos usually. Uh, and yeah, I am going to be producing more uh, edited short-form content now. Uh, and we're going to be doing a lot more guides and tutorials. So subscribe for all that. And I hope to see you guys around and see you guys in some next videos. Peace.